Hi, my name is Jess Meldrum from Keymetrics and welcome to today's episode of Two Minute Tuesdays. In today's episode, I'm going to provide some useful tips and tricks when it comes to filtering a dashboard. Dashboards are one of the most exciting features in Workday Adaptive Planning and when built effectively, are a great way to present your data. A common issue users face with their dashboards is that they try to squeeze too much information into a small canvas. A great way to optimise dashboards and to save real estate is by using context filters. From here, I'm going to select the dashboard name from the left side of the screen to bring up the context. Now I'm going to go to the data settings and I'm going to add a new context. From here, I'm going to select dimensions and I'm going to select location. What this is going to do is it's going to bring location up into the context filters, which will allow the user to select a location to filter the dashboard. As mentioned previously, time and level are standard context filters that apply to all dashboards. We can set default values by selecting the filter and selecting override default. This will now allow us to select a default value. Unfortunately, we cannot set default values for the context filters that we've created, such as location. Now what I can do is I can expand the location context filter and select Australia. The dashboard has now updated to filter for Australia. That's it for today's episode. As always, if you'd like to know more details or get further assistance, please reach out. Thanks and bye for now.